Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my channel members for their ongoing support. If you would like your name to appear on screen, then you can click on the membership link that will be in the description down below. I have two tiers, one for shout outs and a second tier where you will get a weekly members only content. This content will be catch up live streams, members only reactions or sometimes I will do a pre-recorded chatty get ready with me video where I update you on life stuffs. There is also of course the custom emojis and the cute animal badges next to your name. Of course you just watching this video is already much appreciated but if you wish to support the channel further you can do so by subscribing, commenting, liking, sending super thanks and of course joining the membership. And now let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online health fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. Uh, we're doing a live stream. We're not doing a live stream. We did a live stream. And uh, I was having an adult beverage. And I'm going to have another adult beverage. And I figured why not do a reaction because I'm dressed up. Got some makeup on. Why let this go to waste, right? So... Adult beverage reaction it is. I'm in my off season, I can enjoy these things. If you are curious to see about all of that, what I do as an off season bodybuilder, reverse dieting, uh, I'm, I'm doing vlogmas at the moment, so there is a full days of eating in there as well, clothing holes, everything, so check out that dedicated play series. Once vlogmas is over, we'll just go back to just a normal vlogging of like live trading, etc. But all of that will still be sprinkled in throughout Vlogmas. I'm not sure when you're going to see this video. But today, what we are going to do is... We're going to look at... Eclipses and Lasers, Reels, TikToks, Shorts, whatever you want to call them. And just catch up with them because she uploads a lot of them. And uh, yeah, you know, you like it when I react to her. I like reacting to her. It's a win-win for both of us. So let me scooch over. Because they're reels, uh, if the editing is muted or sped up or anything like that, I do it because there is copyright music in there, basically. And I would like to get these videos monetized. Especially seeing it's Christmas time. And the AdSense is up. So, <laughs> on that note. Let's go into this one. Trying something new. Not perfect, but we'll get there. Push-ups. Our fitness queen. I do love it when Anna does fitness content. It's, it probably is my favorite, especially when she is like a pro, when she talks about protein and feeding her body, uh, and never shows her diet except for protein bars and Quest bars and Quest Quest chips, because that's what that's what a real fitness queen eats. A fitness person when they want to feed their muscles. I ate some chicken before this. I couldn't be bothered to make a whole ass salad, so what I did is I weighed out chicken. Got myself some calorie free sauce, chili, sweet chili, it's one of my favorite ones. Ate the chicken with the sweet chili, and that's it. So, I, I ate actual protein, as you should. Um, I'm not saying that protein supplements are bad, I use protein supplements also, but you should, you should definitely not rely on them. So, she's basically doing like, oh, I can't remember what the name It's like a worm or something like this, this walkout where she comes to like a down dog and lowers herself. Which, to be fair, is a really good way to progress your push ups if you're not strong enough to do a push up where you press yourself up and down. Um, focusing on the lowering phase is very good. But uh, the form is quite. For a weekend. So, so, let me just try and talk through this. So, from here, the arms are too far. In front of her body because she can see in front of her body. Her arms are too far ahead. She will see in a second that she will not be able to press up again. This is, uh, you see here, this is where she presses down. Uh, this is where she moves her arms back. And this is where she, oh, and that's basically what she should have done. Um, push-ups, you don't push up from here. Down, you kind of go from down here. This is the same with the bench press. And I see a lot of people make this mistake when they're bench pressing. They literally lower onto the chest. Actually, when you're bench pressing, you lower onto uh, your midsection. So that when you're pushing, you're pushing away from the body. Whereas here, if you're pressing and you're failing, you fall into your face. Whereas here, if you're failing, you, you basically lower the bar onto your... Uh, you can lower it onto your midsection. Same with the push-up. It's not from here. It's from down here. 
Let me see what she has to say. Casual wear style. I love that a baby tee is back in. I know some of you are mad about it. For me, I'm like, <laughs> because I love that. That just works with my body type really well. Does it? In crop tops. I do like a crop top. I suppose anybody can wear a crop top. I would they work with her body type? I think personally, I think it would be more slimming if this top was slightly longer. To maybe down here. I think I think that would look better on her. This jacket is super comfortable and it's actually got some nice like warmth to it without feeling like sweaty and hot. I actually love this. I love this so much. It's a great I like the outfit, don't like the shoes. Again, they remind me of Klumper. Clogs. Clogs? Clogs. Clogs. Um, yeah, they look like clogs. If this, the, we're going for great, but not myself. Yeah, so obese people are running. I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, especially because she's also so lower bottom heavy. I can see this lead to a lot of injury. And it's going to put a lot of damage onto her knees and her ankles and everything. She's better off just walking and trying to lose weight through diets. And eating real food. Not protein bars. And Quest chips. I love this look. I feel like these pants are like classy cargo pants. Like, I'm edgy. I'm trendy. I'm cool. But I'm also a sensible adult that knows her worth. Yeah, I don't think these trousers are flattering at all. Uh, I like the top though, the, the 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 puffy arm detail, but I don't think these these pants are at all. I think they make her look bigger than where she is. I love this look. The boot. Oh, this look is for me a no no. Um, I find it a bit grandma. -ish. You know, and which is fair enough. You go for that look, each to their own. But you know, in my opinion. Who am I to judge? I'm sitting here in leopard print, being almost 40 years old. I don't dress my age. <laughs> I have a pretty particular style in the way that I dress, but yeah. This particular look, um, yeah, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan. They make the look. N no, they, they, they really don't, in my opinion. I think it would be nicer with a sandal of some sort. The thing is, though, she can't really wear proper heels, like thin heels, because of her weight, obviously. And she probably shouldn't be wearing, like, stilettos. But this look could be made more sexy, more daring, with, like, a nice stiletto, like an open, um, like, a nice stiletto look. This look could be made more sexy with a stiletto of some sort, because you're going for the unprim and proper, but then, ooh, the cheeky little stiletto. I'm a little bit naughty. This boot is just a plain boot, isn't it? <laughs> Consistency. Consistency. <laughs> when people ask me how I've made change, big changes this year, consistency. I mean, she's made some change. She's lost some weight. Don't think she's lost eighty-five pounds. She should have made a lot. She should have lost a lot more weight, based on what she's claiming to do. Um, the healthy eating, prioritizing protein, doing all of these workouts, the medication, Didn't have super high expectations. the medication, the alleged 85 pound loss, I'm going to put down to 50, 60 pounds. Um, it's, it could be a little better ba ba based on the efforts that she's claiming to do. And I'm not saying that 80, like 60 pounds or 85 pounds is bad at all. I'm saying that based on what she's putting out there, based on how she's LARPing as a fitness influencer, it's not good enough, basically. And we never see what she eats. Didn't have super high expectations for this because it was so heavy, but girl, <laughs> what is this? This is so hot. I did size up. I'm glad I did, but I am, I am loving everything about the way this was made, the construction, the cinched waist. It's... I suppose it has a cinched waist, yes. Um, 
boiler suits. They look, look kind of cool, but like anything that's like a one piece, it's really impractical. You know, it looks good, but really, the second you need to go to, to the toilet, you realize how impractical they are. And me, that drinks a lot of water, that pees every 20 minutes, it's, yeah, they're cool, but I'd, I'd rarely wear one pieces because I pee a lot, and they're just really annoying to work around the toilets. Your girl is snatched! She says this so much. Like, does she have, like, reverse body dysmorphia? She's always talking about how snatched and how tight and how skinny, like, how small her waist is and everything. And, like, it's good to feel yourself, but snatched? Ah! Who's this little bitty waist? It's me! Like, I'm all for, like, loving yourself, and a fair play that she's wearing uh, nice outfits, that she's showing that you can be a plus-size girl and wear nice clothes, but snatch waist, skinny waist, small waist? Uh, uh, are we looking at the same person? It's me! Love. Love. I feel like this is kind of a tradition now, but we've come back to Colonel Kitchen, and we're going to get some festive popcorn. <laughs> calories and that have to be phenomenal because it's layered as well the denim is non-stretch and i just don't understand why anyone would do this to themselves you just surely most denim is non-stretch right most jeans i have are non-stretch is there stretch denim that's news to me serve a little stretch in your jeans and if anyone ever told you uh this top is not very nice uh, this this whole look i'm not feeling it this 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 type of pink does not go with this is it a gray is it a green i can't really but this whole look is a no. You didn't. Just delete that person out of your life because clearly they hate you. Um, <laughs> so the cheats are in now. The denim is non -strip. I love this dress because it's a one and done. That means you don't need to do anything else. Maybe some earrings, but nothing else. And you look fabulous. And I don't feel like it's very flattering on her, actually. I feel like it's making her look bigger than what she is. The color, however... I love... This is the annoying thing with these reels. The color, however, I think is very nice, but the fit, I don't think is very flattering, actually. I think anything that kind of opens up down here, uh, despite the fact that she has really big hips, I think anything that's more uh, shaped tight around the hips, I feel like it is better for her shape because she is an extreme hourglass, but because she is hourglass, I feel like this makes her look a lot bigger than what she is, especially in the midsection, because she just has really big hips. She has, she has obviously fat in the stomach as well, but she is more lower body heavy. So this makes it look like she has a really big stomach as well, when in reality she doesn't compare to the lower body, compared to the upper body, uh, lower body, sorry. This is like... I hope these are pajamas. It looks like pajamas. The cutest pajama set ever. Mm. It is pajamas, yeah. Okay, fair enough. I love the rainbow striped pants and the top says just the word Christmas. Is it too early for Christmas? Yes. Do I care? No. This is a, this is a fucking horrendous outfit and all, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Like, for somebody that has so many nice clothes and so many nice outfits, this is not the one. John, you need to stop the camera because this suit is so sexy that I need like a slow mo shot. Okay, ready? Stop the camera, put it in slow mo. Uh, Do people find this funny? That's like the thing is, she edits this and uploads this, so she's either really feeling herself, or she really thinks this is hilarious. And clearly, I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm clearly not Anna drunk to be enjoying this. Allegedly, I don't think I will ever be drunk enough to find her funny. To be honest, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm never. Sometimes I see these people do all of these really cool. This, this is not particularly cool, like TikTok or real. But there's some makeup people that I follow, and they do like 
all of these like as Celine Bernard is her Celine Bernard but they do these really amazing transition TikToks and reels and like you know they they with different looks and that must require so much planning. I I'm I'm not I'm not the one to plan. I had for that kind of stuff. I'm not a TikTok person anyway. But I couldn't like just to remember to have to do this for different shots for different times. <sighs> There's already so much social media in my life to to try and remember. <laughs> To try and remember to do TikToks that look cool with transitions and stuff, it's not the one. It's, I just don't have space in my brain for it. <laughs> to be fair, she's not a bad dancer. She does have pretty good moves. Hey, Disney, tell me a joke. Oh, gosh, I got one. What did the right eye say to the left eye? I give up. Between you and me, pal, something <laughs> smells. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Hilarious. This. Oh wow. The perfect princess workout look. I I don't really care how amazing your booty is. I think to wear this to a gym is this is, this is not a workout outfit, unless maybe you go to ballet. But this is a look, and especially with the checkered trainer underneath it. Wow. Is oh, this is the perfect princess workout look. So underneath this lovely tulle skirt, which does move, you have a pocket so you can like hide your phone. It's an elastic waist. And honestly, they have not rolled up at all. And <laughs> that's the best. I, I. I, I'd definitely give someone a bit of a side eye if they wore that to the gym. You can wear whatever you want, each to their own, but I would not say that this is an appropriate gym outfit. For maybe something like like a ballet or dance, yes. But for for working out, for training, it's it's a choice. It's a choice. This is the this t-shirt is super soft and these leggings are super clutch because they snatch in the waist. But what we're talking about today is this jacket. It is like a giant blanket and then I just want to show you what it looks like zipped up. These leggings are really not good for her because they're not uh, they're not shapewear at all. She, they need to be more shapewear -y. They make her look a little better than where she is. Because it does just give you the perfect little silhouette. So like here you can see that you have... The jacket, however, I like a lot. It looks very cozy and very nice. Have this nice, like, snatched waist, but then all this volume to offset it, which just makes. She really has an obsession with saying that she has a snatched waist, huh? Uh, like, is this a, a, a reverse body dysmorphia situation where she just thinks she is? Granted, she is out. She is hourglass shaped. But a snatched waist to me is like a really tiny waist, like literally snatched, like you could put your hands around it almost. Granted, her waist is a little smaller than her hips, but snatched. Your waist look extra snatched. Mm. Yeah. How can you not love it? How can you not love it? This t-shirt is super- So I love this set because- Actually, I think this is really nice. I like this cutout, the shape of the top. Um, I think it's very flattering. I think this is also flattering to her physique because it's like a higher waist and the crop top kind of is um, above the way the crop top sits and it being higher waist above the body button. It is actually giving her more of an hourglass shape. Uh, the material looks nice too. And like, yeah, the cleavage, the detail, very nice. Not only does it give me a lot of support in the thigh with pockets and everything, but the top also gives me support in the arms. And with my lipedema, having like less jiggle is really helpful in feeling comfortable and walking or even just doing any exercise that's like a little bit more movement intensive so i feel very supported in this set but i still feel again like compared to, this is what i was saying with the other leggings you can see that these leggings are a lot thicker material and they just hold her in a lot better and they're therefore they are more slim and like with all pops pop flex stuff i feel cute I feel like I can go crush it, but I also feel like I can make you crush on me. She does this so much. Why? Why does everything have to be turned turn into like... 
I don't know. Is this like some sort of like affirmation stuff? Like if I say this to the world, then I will believe it myself. I don't know. It's like nothing. To, it, it's okay to be confident, but what? Like, why would you want to say like stuff like that? I don't get it. It's real cute. In the hood is big. Which means I can wear headphones underneath it. I do like this jacket actually, it's quite nice, nice color too. Which is kind of a priority for me because I usually wear... The only thing is that uh, crop tops, short or crop jackets, short jackets in winter, they look cool, not functional. There's wind or rain, goes underneath and you're cold. So yeah, like it looks cool, but I would never purchase or wear uh, a crop jacket in winter because I want to be warm. And that's the whole point of a winter jacket. And these jackets just don't do it. They just look good. This is the game day dress. This is one of my favorites because I think it is super chic. Now it will scare you because it'll say like a wide range. Like the plus is like one X to three X. Do not worry. I am sitting on the bigger side of three X and this, <laughs> this looks freaking fantastic. And it's I don't hate it. I actually think it's kind of nice. I like the detail. This looks freaking fantastic. And it's going to look fantastic on you too. Like, honestly, this one, <laughs> this one. And I also think that if you're a bigger person, this sort of, um, this sort of fit where it comes down, it's a lot more shape wear and like it, it's shape, it's a lot more shape friendly. So actually I do think this is quite nice. And does she only have one pair of trainers? She has so many other shoes, but she always seems to wear these checker trainers. I feel like they don't really go with many things. They kind of go with this outfit, but with her other outfits, not so much. Look like a beauty. Train like a beast. Yeah, okay. With the five kilo dumbbells. Not really progressing much. Doing very short of workouts. Training like a beast is not that. If you want to see what training like a beast is like, watch watch my workout videos. And that, that's not to toot my own horn, but I train with George, my friend George. Sometimes I kill him every time, and he's a man. Like I have a, a very high. I, I'm a mas I'm basically I'm a masochist. This is this is my problem. I'm a masochist. I like. I literally like the training pain. I like it when it hurts. I kind of get that that sensation, like when it starts hurting, it gets too much. Like it just, it does something to me. It is dopamine release, but like I really do love training pain. I like to suffer through my training. Not like I'm gonna dislodge a vertebrae, but the the lactic acid, the the lactic acid, the intensity. I like that feeling a lot. To a point where it's not, it's kind of, <laughs> not right, there's something wrong with me. There's a lot of things wrong with me. This is, this is why I train. This is super comfortable. <laughs> it's also. I think this jacket is too long. It makes her look bigger than what she is. She does suit crop tops a little bit better actually. Or crop jackets. Not super cropped, but like um, to the waist. No. To the, to the belly button sort of height cropped. Like super chic. Ugh, I love when it wins in all the different ways. I'd wear this blazer everywhere. I have a brown blazer like this that I wear literally all the time. Well, I did wear it all the time. It's a bit big now, so maybe it's time for a replacement. Yeah, I don't like this at all. It's straight. There's no shape to it. I think this does nothing for her shape at all. Okay, so th this is really fucking ugly. This color does not suit her at all. This is a kind of color that you can kind of you can only get away with if you're tanned. So I would wear colors like this if I'm fake tanning. If I'm pale, I would not wear this because it just blends into one. It looks like she's not really wearing any clothes. We've got a bit of a camel toe situation going on. I I hope it's a pajama or some sort of like loungewear because she should not wear this out in public. It's it's really not flattering and it's kind of ugly. This is the ooey gooey set and they have a sweatshirt and I'm wearing the shorts, but they also have them in sweatpants. And I just think it's like the softest stuff ever. And what I love is when I take this off and I'm just wearing it with a sports bra, 
this sweatshirt and i don't know what it is about it but the way it's shaped it's really not nice at all this color the shape the color this whole outfit is yeah it's it does nothing for her when you put it over your shoulders it just like hugs your shoulders and it looks so cute like i look like someone in a magazine but my sweatshirt hasn't been taped to my shoulders i just look good is this is this gym clothes please don't wear the suit gym this has to be like loungewear words i hope so okay let's see if i can fit i'm always gonna be nervous because this is the one disney ride where i was taken off of <laughs> Hello from a girl who finally wrote Guardians. Okay. I mean, fair play. If she wasn't able to go on the ride before, now she can. That is, that's cool. You know, like I said, I do believe she has lost weight. I just don't think it is as much. And I don't think it's reflective of the amount of based on what she claims to do the need there should have been more weight loss but still fair play i can imagine that this is an, uh, a happy moment yeah not liking this look uh at all this she doesn't really suit these baby pinks it's maybe because she's not tanned enough the jacket so so the leather pants so yesterday this huge box showed up in my house and inside it was this massive bag from YouTube shopping. And I thought it would be fun to take out an item and see what it is. So let's start with this one. Ooh, shame. So this is from Jilly Hicks and it's an extra, extra large. Uh, we'll see if this fits. If she puts it on and she doesn't zip it up, it doesn't fit. Oh my gosh. No, it does. It 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 doesn't really because you can't save it up. It's too small. It's too small. Like I can fit into clothes that are smaller sized, but if I can't zip, if like there's dresses that I sometimes put on, like a medium, um, and I am a medium on certain body parts. I'm not a medium on my back because I'm a very I'm a latty girl. I have big shoulders and big lats. So, medium on the waist, yes. Medium on the shoulders and the back. If it's got a zip, usually speaking not. So, if you buy something and you can't zip it up, yeah, I could fit into it, but I don't actually fit into it because I can't close it, I can't zip it, so. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna fit. So it's a little. It's on the small side. Snug, but as I continue to lose weight. Mm. Okay, she's able to zip it up somewhat, but it's it's the material is being stretched to the boundaries. This is gonna be perfect. So, okay, so this jumpsuit was like the piece that got me into pop flex. Let's talk about why it's amazing. It's built in bra. It's a one. I actually think this is quite nice. I think this is quite shapely. Um, this white leg is good for her i don't like it on the skirts but i think on the trousers i think it suits her shape uh this makes her bum look kind of nice uh it makes her waist look one piece you can put on yourself and we got the color is nice she really does suit greens very well the shape yes i think this is a very nice outfit actually i think this is very elegant very shapely and it looks very pretty armholes it is super soft, like literally like pajamas. But again, it's a onesie, which is just like, or a one piece, as she says, not a onesie, it's a one piece, and they are just awkward as fuck. And it also has of the packets. I also want to point out one thing that I think is like kind of important about something like this. One thing I want to point out about this jumpsuit that I learned, and I want to save you some stress if you do decide to get it, it runs long. So if you want just regular length, I would actually order shorts. Now, if you plan to wear it with heels, no biggie, but I just wanted to make sure you knew. I mean, girl for the girls. Cause it's it's so-so, it's so-so. It's more fitted here, which is better than just straight down. Uh, she's got the ugly clothes on again. I just don't like these shoes. I think it's really horrendous. But the dress isn't bad. It is freaking fantastic. I am feeling my... Let's, let's... 
Ugh, these faux leather pants are not the one. Look, right? Like the little... Just casual. Yeah, these pants don't do her any favours. She can't even zip them up properly. Um, faux leather, not the material to be used when you're this sort of size, in my opinion. It's not flattering. I, I, I think there's very few people that can carry a faux leather. Letter? Faux leather. It's not something that I would wear, even though I have, in my opinion, a very nice shape. Um, I think it's the kind of stuff that looks good on like a catwalk model on the catwalk or in a fashion magazine. But few people can carry it off in real life. But look, if you want to wear faux leather like this, knock yourself out. I just think it's one of those things that like it looks good in pictures on certain people, but in real life, I think very few people can carry it off. A little sneak peek of some PT I'm doing to improve my gait. Now, I don't know anything about running. I don't care about running. Running is not my bag at all. Uh, does this improve your gait? If it does, why does it improve your gait? I would like to know. Because I don't understand. Hey, did you know that we store trauma, we store anxiety, we store emotions in our hips? Okay, ha ha. I thought that last outfit was alright, the rest not. Tonight I'm having dinner at Underdog. This restaurant is located in South Austin. And today we're going to be trying their hain shi menu, which is basically like a taster menu in Korean. First up was an egg souffle. Is it interesting that whenever she shows food, she's doing these fucking tasting menus, or it's like popcorn or whatever, or she eats protein bars. Why does she never show what she eats allegedly as a healthy fitness person? Where is the real food? Where are the whole foods, the salads? all of that it's always gourmet dinners which fair play i would love to do them too but where where's the balance protein bars or protein chips oh, sorry it's getting a bit cold um or this kind of food it's not like i wish she would show the full days of eating but i'm sure there's a reason why she doesn't but because she doesn't eat probably as healthy as what she claims to but yeah Tonight I'm having dinner at under. But you know I'm still gonna watch this video because I'm I am i am I absolutely have food envy. Dog. This restaurant is located in South Austin, and today we're gonna be trying their hain shi menu, which is basically like a taster menu in Korean. First up was an egg souffle with a banchan plate, which is basically pickled vegetables. It was a great way. I love pickled vegetables. To start the meal. Next we had a scallion pajan pancake, and honestly, it was one of my favorite things. Next they gave us all the meats. This is a plate of galbi, also pork collars. And kimchi and assorted salmon accompaniment. I love kimchi. Like they had like a little Asian week in in little. I pretty much bought all the key kimchi. I probably have around not anymore, but I probably have around. I had around twenty jars of like small jars of kimchi in my fridge. Uh, There's there around ten left. I'll be sad when they're all gone. Immense. Honestly, this was delicious, and the sauces were top notch. Our last savory dish was a kimchi jjigae, and honestly, it was good, but we've heard it's even better with rice. To finish off our meal, we had do Ooh, that looks pretty good. donuts, and I think, I think this just sums up how I felt about that. My belly is full, my heart- I just need to be a plus one at any holiday party. This is, this, is really, this is really not a nice idea. It's amazing because sometimes she wears such nice things, and other times she just wears really horrible things. Strong day for an arm day. So much wrong with this form. This row is. I don't even know what she's doing here. You're better off maybe leaning against the counter there, rowing properly into the low lats. She's just lifting it up here. Maybe she's targeting the real delt. I'm not sure. This is not a bicep curl. She's literally just lifting it up. Uh, you don't need to, th I think this is a mistake that people make a lot is that they basically curl and they curl all the way up. You don't need to do that. You don't need to curl up all the way. You just curl until you hit the contraction. Like, so for me, my maximum contraction is around here. Here, I lose more contraction. So you just go up to the maximum contraction and come down. Uh, so yeah, this is not really, this is not a particularly functional bicep. 
these lat raises are too heavy for her because as you can tell she's like shrugging through the shoulders and big mistake a lot of people make is they try to go heavy on shoulders and you've got a thing the shoulders are very tiny muscles and i'm i was part of that group of people for a very long time um and one of the reasons i've managed to grow my shoulders well well first of all it's performance analysis um androgens are stored in the delts but also uh i train my shoulders lighter weight uh at higher repetition and i find if i do that i, I i'm much able i get a much better muscle con uh, mind muscle connection i just seem to get more growth out of it and also really if you want to have nicer shoulders focus on growing the rear delts because that is what gives the roundness to the shoulder medial delts a little bit obviously front delts too but the medial delts are not as big of a priority as what the rear delts are to get uh, full around the shoulders. Uh, and the key with the shoulders is to go light. Uh, and to not go too high. Because when you go too high, again, the traps take over. And when you go too heavy, the traps take over. So usually speaking with shoulders, you're not actually looking at a very large range of motion. And do them in volume. I find volume works a lot better for growth. Except for shoulder presses, because it's more of like a power movement. Otherwise, if you're doing lateral raises, doing them heavy, it's kind of pointless because you're just training your traps and you're not really targeting the shoulders, unless you have like really strong shoulders. Um, I just threw this on and I felt it deserved the good light. I feel like a fancy fall artist. I'm very into it, so yeah. <laughs> this is my Disney emergency kit that I take with me on every trip. Inside this little bag is everything I need to have what the fuck is that? Is that candy? Have an enjoyable day at Disney from Tums to Sun. Why would you need Tums? Huh? Because of all the shit food you're eating probably. Screen, chafing stick, energy sticks, liquid IV, and more. And we're ready. Liquid IV? What is liquid IV? Why would you need that? <laughs> running, running, running. Running on another pick out. Really, I could not imagine spending time with somebody like her. She would annoy the shit out of me. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, every time she shows food, it's always just bad food. And I'm not saying don't enjoy yourself in the holiday season. Like, I also have bad food inspiration. In fact, I did a taste test today of, like, um, these cookies that were sent to me. But I literally had a taste of each and the rest is being put away. She just never shows herself eating real food. I mean, I know this is real food, but you know what I mean? Like a healthy meal. Just a normal, healthy fitness meal. Here's everything I ate at Tiffin's. She just eats a lot of bad food, huh? And that was the last one. And I need to wrap it up because my battery is about to die. And on the camera for battery dies, I lose the footage. So insert A. Mouse emoji, comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.